Air Canada has been ordered to pay an Oakville woman and her family nearly $70,000 after a consumer complaint body in India found that the airline violated their rights when they kicked them off a flight from Delhi to Toronto last year. Manali Mathal and her two children were booted from the aircraft after her 11-year-old daughter threw up while waiting to use a closed bathroom. She says it was because of the smell it was emitting. Mathal says Air Canada staff berated and humiliated the young girl and the three passengers were escorted off the plane. She claims they were left waiting at the gate for hours in the middle of the night with their luggage sent to Toronto without them and staff holding on to their passports. They were eventually put on a flight home three days later, but she says they were never offered accommodation. In a scathing 71-page judgment from the State Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission in Punjab, a judge found the airline's actions amounted to, quote, grave deficiency in service, unfair trade practice, and violation of human rights and child rights, due to which the complainants suffered great mental tension, agony, harassment, humiliation, and hardships. Air Canada claims the family was deported because the young passenger was ill. Quote, carrying a sick passenger would have been risky for the child in case a mid-air crisis takes place. Moreover, it would have caused inconvenience to other passengers as well due to emergency landing and unwanted delays. The judge refuted that claim, noting the young passenger was never offered any medical assistance. One air travel advocate says he hopes the hefty fine imposed sets an example of how seriously passenger rights should be taken. I would hope that this example would be followed in Canada and in other countries. I would also hope that this is going to act as a deterrent for airlines to mistreat passengers this way. In Canada, uh, we have the Canadian Transportation Agency, which is a government watchdog. Uh, unfortunately, they are very cozy with the airlines and they tend to rule against passengers, especially lately when Air Canada is involved. What happened here was indeed egregious. It was indeed a violation of the rights of those passengers in an egregious manner. And finally, a court recognized that airlines cannot treat passengers this way. In a statement, Air Canada tells City News it plans to fight the ruling.